very good evening to you. Hundreds of vulnerable children were placed in the path of sex offenders and suffered cruelty at levels that were hard to comprehend. The main conclusion today of an inquiry into historic child abuse over three decades at five children's homes run by Lambeth Council in South London. By June last year, only one senior member of staff had been disciplined as a result of what the report described as a culture of cover-up. Tonight, one victim living with the trauma of abuse told Sky News that years later, he still doesn't feel alive. Our national correspondent, Alex Rossi, reports. The Shirley Oaks care home, nestled in a leafy area of Croydon, looks like a slice of paradise. But the child abuse that went on here and the cover-up is horrific. Bill Maloney was a small boy when he, along with his brothers and sisters, was taken into care in the 1960s. This is me, and this is my brother Tony, who was two years younger than me. These photographs were taken on a trip to Hastings. It was supposed to be a happy holiday, but behind their smiles, there is darkness and pain of constant abuse. It was terrible. He sexually abused me over his office table that was in, but it was his bedroom as well. Bill was one of more than 700 children, according to the report, who suffered physical and sexual abuse in five care homes run by Lambeth Council. It's caught my whole life has been messed about with, my whole life, mm. by the abuse that happened. It makes you feel worthless. It's a broken heart, it's a broken spirit, it's a broken soul, it's broken everything. We were taught to get down on our knees and pray to Jesus while they were abusing us. Two of those homes, Shirley Oaks and South Vale, were described as brutal places where violence and sexual assault were allowed to flourish. During the 80s and 90s, children in care became pawns in a toxic power game between the Labour Council and the Conservative government. The report found racism was evident and the mostly black children experienced hostile and abusive treatment. It's the sheer scale of what you find. So I've been involved in every report that this inquiry has issued you. This is the first one where at regular intervals I must put it down because there's no page when you turn it and think or somebody spotting it. It's just page off page of things going wrong and where people do spot it doing nothing about it. Lambeth has now apologised to the survivors for overseeing a system where horrendous abuse was perpetrated. It is shameful, absolutely it's shameful. Um, I f we fully accept the findings that are in the inquiry that cat catalogue this shameful episode in the council's history and we fully accept all the findings and we are genuinely sorry. The extent of the scandal of what went on at places like Shirley Oaks is enormous, with the report saying it was difficult to comprehend and it's easy to see why. Those in care were treated as though they were worthless and vulnerable children were put in the path of sex offenders. For Bill Maloney and other children whose lives have been permanently damaged, the apology from the council is just empty words and no inquiry can ever heal their trauma. They killed us. I'm not alive as I should be now. I'm dead. Because of what they, not so much what they've done to me, but what they've done to my brothers and sisters. Although the care homes have been closed and the cover up exposed, the agony continues for survivors and the questions too. How could so many have been preyed upon for so many years? but only six of the perpetrators have been convicted of child sex abuse crimes. Alex Rossi, Sky News, South London.